Today we discuss Danny Duncan exposing Kobe person, YouTubers being used, and more. Welcome to Thai Trends. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Ty Blue here and welcome to Ty Trends. All right, so first up today, let's discuss Danny Duncan exposing Kobe person. Now, if you've never watched Danny, he's a YouTuber with over 200,000 subscribers. And he recently uploaded a video called Exposing Kobe Person on Stage at Playlist. And in the video, Danny somehow managed to take part in a panel posing as Kobe person, where he said to the host that he pretty much does fake pranks and hires actors on Craigslist. It's unreal, like the fact that he was able to get on stage with nobody at all realizing he was the wrong person is fucking crazy. Here's a quick clip from that video. You know, there is the, there is the thing, I mean, you guys gotta get signatures from people or else you gotta well, yeah, your face. But basically what I do is because I hire people off Craigslist, I can have the reaction be whatever I want it to be, which is why my videos go viral. All right, guys, and next up, this one's coming from a YouTuber known as From Head to Toe. And apparently a company is fraudulently using pictures of her to advertise their business. A fan of Jen tweeted at her saying this, Hi Jen, just want to ask if you gave permission to this. Looks like someone stole your image. And apparently this post that has since been deleted used her image as an advertisement without her permission. Jen responded saying this, Never trust a company that steals to promote their business. Facebook, when they're not freebooting your shit, they're using you for advertisements. Alright, so next up, this one's coming from Twitch. A streamer known as Geniette Fan with over 20,000 followers was streaming last night. And apparently the girl he was streaming with didn't realize her her webcam was still on and she accidentally flashed the entire stream. And as you're about to see, he was pretty pissed off, mainly because Twitch doesn't allow nudity, so there was a chance he could get banned. Take a look. Yeah. Kay, what the fuck? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Delete the VOD, dude. Delete the VOD. Like, I do feel sorry for the guy because he might get banned, but I also feel sorry for the girl because can you imagine, like, forgetting your webcam is on and just doing this kind of shit? Then again, who the hell goes straight from streaming to just ripping off their goddamn clothes? Like, Jesus Christ. All right, guys, so this last one is coming from Tyler Oakley, who kind of called out Azalea Banks on Twitter. He tweeted out this. Some things never change, with a yearbook picture of Azalea Banks that reads drama underneath her name. She responded to the post saying, new phone, who dis? And no, I don't know what the fuck that means. If you know, let me know in the comments. This Windows 10 shit shows up on my monitor one more time when I'm filming. I'm gonna fuck somebody up. Like, it's inevitable. I'm just, I'm gonna have to do it. Guys, as always, all videos and sources will be listed in the description. And with that being said, that's all I've got. As always, let me know how you feel about the topics I discussed today in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe for more YouTube news. And until next time, stay trendy. Oh yeah, I'm done fucking filming. Fuck all these goddamn clothes. Who needs this shit, right? Fuck it. Yeah.